Mats Madu. We are the children, we are the children, the children of God. Tam Kam Kam. We change our world, we have what it takes to do it smart and make it smart. Welcome to our world, Smart Do. Welcome class fives once again for this CRA lesson. It is yet another moment that we are here to continue with our studies. I believe you are faring on well and I am as good as you can see. Now today we are going to continue from where we stopped and uh, we stopped uh, at uh, one of the beliefs uh, that we looked at uh, last time. And uh, the belief uh, that we looked at uh, last time was uh, have someone remind us that yes 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 remind us that uh -huh. the belief in the Holy Spirit can you clap them very good now we said that the belief in the Holy Spirit is one of the truths is one of the pillars of the Christian faith and uh, we said that the Holy Spirit is the Spirit of God and the Spirit of God does marvelous and wonderful things in our, our lives. Now today, uh, we're going to continue looking on at the, another belief that is found in the Apostles' Creed. Remember, we are looking at uh, the topic expressing our faith, and particularly the Apostles' Creed. And uh, the belief that you are going to look at today is that I believe in the church, communion of saints, and forgiveness of sins. So, as uh, Christians, uh, these are some of the things that uh, are held dear in uh, our hearts because uh, we know that uh, Jesus Christ came and fulfilled all this. Now, when you talk about uh, uh, the word church, the word church, there are many definitions that we can give or we have ever come across describing uh, a church. So if we can try and see what we think a church is, we can start from there. Uh -huh, very good. Yes, it says a church is a building. It's a big building. It's a bigger building. Uh -huh. Big building where people go to worship. Uh -huh, that's good. Uh -huh. A church is a building. That's true because when you see that big building with a cross and you ask what is this, you'll always say it is a, a church. That's a good one. Another person who might have an idea what a church is. Uh -huh. Yes, 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 yes. I try there. Uh -huh. Very good. Uh -huh. So it says that uh, people who have come, people who have come together, together to worship. Uh -huh. That is also true. Yes. Now, According to the Apostles' Creed and what it says a church is, the Apostles' Creed dis 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 defines a church as a community, a community, and a community we know is a, a group of people, a group of people who live together, together, and have something in common. Have something. Something in common. For example, we have a school where we all go to school. We say that one is a community. We live there as a community. We stay there as a community. Those people who stay in the same estate, that is one community. Those people who stay in a village together, the ones who are next to each other. This one is also a community. So, a community, according to the Apostles' Creed, uh, Apostle, Apostles Creed a church is a, a community of believers. A community of believers. So, a church, according to the Apostles' Creed, is a community of believers. People who have come together to believe in something. And what do they believe in? What do they believe in? They believe, they believe in Jesus Christ. They believe in Jesus Christ, who is the Son of God. So, 
the church is a community of believers, a believers who believe in Jesus Christ. Now, we also have the Holy Catholic. I believe in the Holy Catholic, Catholic Church, according to uh, the Apostles' uh, Creed. Now, when you say Holy Catholic Church, what does that mean? It means all the universal church. The universal church. Anybody, that is anybody, anybody who is a believer in Jesus. Anybody who is a believer in Jesus. Not a, a group of people, not this one living out that one, but all people, universal, the whole world. Doesn't matter whether you're from Kenya, India, Japan, America, China, South Africa. Doesn't matter from where you are. If you are considered to be, to be in the Holy Catholic Church, it means it is the universal church because the church is found up everywhere in the, in the world. Now, all this, the universal church means anybody who has faith in Jesus Christ. Now, a communion of the communion of saints. Communion of saints. Communion of saints. What does it refer? All those people who have faith. They have faith in Jesus. They have faith in Jesus. So, it's the same case as talking about anybody who is a believer in Jesus Christ. When they come together, they share that holy communion. They share that holy communion of believing in Jesus Christ. Now, the main purpose that Jesus died on the cross was because of our sins. So that whoever believes in him, believes in him, is forgiven. Forgiven. So, there is that belief in the forgiveness of sins. That no matter the kind of sins that you have committed, you have a chance to be made right with God. And that is the purpose that Jesus had. The main mission he had here on earth when he died. He died for our sins so that we can be forgiven and live a life closer to God. And this one is shown well in the book of Galatians chapter 3 verse 28. And uh, it's just one verse. And it reads that, uh, so there is no difference between uh, Jews and Gentiles, between slaves and freed people, between men and women. You are all one in union with Christ. You are all one in union in Christ. So therefore, for all those who believe in Jesus Christ, believe in the church, believe in the communion of saints, they are all one. Why? Because they follow one person. They follow one person, that is Jesus Christ. And he brings us together as one. So therefore, let us continue meeting together. Let us continue uh, going to churches as one so that we can develop our faith. We can continue developing our beliefs and being able to do as Jesus wanted. So continue reading. I can read that verse. Again, memorize it, keep it as a memory verse, and I'm sure it is going to guide you even in future. Thank you, and I hope we meet some other time.